Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Good night for LA too with Mikey getting the belt too. What's it like for you guys to bring those belts back to Southern California? I feel great, you know, like you know, like I said, it feels like I was fighting for my first world title. That's what I had in my mind. And you know, Mikey Garcia, he's a great friend. You know, I know him since amateur. We were in the team tournament, and thanks to Robert Garcia, you know, and him, uh, we signed, we turned pro, and everything. And I guess you know, we we they're a great family too, and everything. So you know, I really respect them, and I'm really glad that they won the the belt too. Hey, Leo, right here. Um, you look to be a little winded uh, about midway through the fight, and you, you seem to lose a little steam on your punches. Did, did you get a second wind, or did you feel did you feel strong then? I, I didn't feel that. I didn't, I didn't sense him getting winded for the slightest one. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, I was just, you know, being, I didn't want to go out there and, and throw more, you know, because I was, yeah, I didn't want to get tired. I didn't want him to give him the, you know, because I know if I didn't throw more stuff, he was going to maybe win the rounds and so, but yeah, I mean, I was taking, you know, my pace and everything not to try not to get tired because, you know, from he was coming out stronger and stronger and, you know, I just did what I had to do. But yeah, maybe a little bit, but then I got my second win. Carl, did you, did you uh, feel there was a point in the fight when you knew you had to do something big to win? Yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I felt like I, I had a bad first round. The first round wasn't great for me and it wasn't the start that I wanted. Um, I kind of settled down and, and came into it a little bit and then got a little bit silly at times. I think Leo was... A lot of the rounds were close but he used his experience and he, and he stole the rounds right at the end and you know burst in the last 15 seconds, last 10 seconds and I was going back to the corner with my head down thinking Ten seconds before, it was a half decent round, and Leo had just stole it. But that's that's experience for you. Um, but you know, again, it was a close fight. But uh, you know, hand on heart, I feel that the decision was fair, and I think that uh, Leo won it. How disappointed are you? I'm disappointed. I'm extremely disappointed. You know, I, I, I'm a winner. You know, I want to win. I want to win all the time. I I, I come away uh, for a long time from my family. Uh, you know, I don't see my kids for a long time. I wanna, I wanna win for my kids. I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed. Thank you. It's a good fight. A question back here. Leo, back here in the back, Leo. Back here. Okay. So, first off, congratulations on your win tonight. If there's not a rematch clause, would you be open to fighting somebody like another Abner Morris fight or even uh, Gary Russell if he comes off with the win over in Scandon? Yeah, of course, you know, uh, the truth, uh, you know, I would like to give it a family because, you know, he deserves it. He's a great fighter, a great man. And like I said, you know, if, if the manager, if they come to an agreement and they make the third fight, uh, that was the first fight I would like, you know, because, you know, I respect him. Great guy, great man, and I would like to give him the third fight because he deserves it. But, you know, I also said I would want to give the rematch to Abner Mares, uh, unification against Liz, Liz LB, Gary Russell. Oscar Valdez, you know, any of them. I'm already, I'm here to fight the best. I want to fight the best. And you know, no matter what order, uh, my manager is going to take care of that. And I'm just up here and I'm going to go to the gym and train. And whatever comes, I'm up for it. Right here. Um, first of all, congrats, Leo. Uh, the question's for Carl. Were you surprised at how skillful Leo used his job? Uh, he, he did surprise me with his tactics, to be honest. I thought, you know, he he told me what he was going to do. He told me he was going to use his distance. I thought he was bluffing. I thought it was. Uh, I thought he was going to come out and just go ahead first. But um, he surprised me. Um, he, he's a he's a, a better boxer on the back foot than I give him credit for. Um, but you know, Leo Leo can do it all, um, and. Yeah, but it was a breath. I thought that I thought that he was going to come straight at me. Carl, it may, it may seem a, a criticism of you, but um, I know how critical you are of yourself. And congratulations, Leo and, and Carl. It's another great fight. Do you feel already that it was a below par Carl Frampton tonight? Uh, yeah, I, I feel like I had a I had a bad start in the fight. Um, I feel like maybe my feet weren't what they should have been. Um, and I and I played to to Leo's 
game plan. You know, I'm the, I'm the boxer. I feel like I'm a, I'm a good boxing brain, um, and I was kind of coming forward trying to be the aggressor. Um, and it's I prefer people to come to me. And uh, you know, the game plan from from Leo's team was was good, and and they uh, yeah. I don't know. I I, 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 can't, I can't really make excuses. I had a, you know, a, a, an amazing training camp. You know, I have, I have an unbelievable coach with me, pushing me to the limit. I sparred well. I had no injuries. I made the weight fine, um, and it was a, maybe a below par performance. But the, the better man won on the night. Can I ask? I don't think it was a subpar performance, by the way. I don't think there was anything subpar about this fight whatsoever. This was a spectacular fight. Two great champions, two great fighters. They fought their heart out and one edged it out over the other one. I really don't think subpar and this fight, they go hand in hand. I think they both fought their heart out. Can, 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 I, just, can I just thank you, Richard? Thank you. I, I don't disagree with you, Richard. It was just a question to Carl about his own performance. Can I ask both of you, though? You had a tactical fight in the first fight, Carl. You had a tactical fight in the second fight, Leo. When you guys stand and actually trade, it's like the roof's going to come off. So I'm assuming in the third fight, you two are just going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe for 12 rounds. Is that right? I, I think so, you know. Like, that's what I, want. I like to do, you know. I like to give the fans a great fight. I like to go toe-to-toe -to -toe because, you know, they're the one that deserve it. They're the one to deserve a, a great fight. But this fight, I had to be smart. You know, I had to do it for myself. And that's what I did. I went out there and did it for myself. Uh, I, you know, I don't know. Hopefully, I don't know. I don't, you know, the fight hasn't made yet. Hopefully, a third fight can happen and, and we can come up with a game plan that, that gets the win. But um, I think Leo's bluffing again. I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think that... <laughs> yeah, I think uh, you know both boxers will use their strengths and do what it takes, hopefully, to to try and get the win. Thank you. Okay, a couple more questions. Then, yeah. Let's give Over here. guys a rest. Sir, Leo, felicidades. No, no, felicitarte doblemente. Primero yeah. que nada, darle gracias a Dios porque tienes a tu padre. Sí, claro, sí, felicidades, sí, Leo, sí. y felicidades por por haber ganado esta magnífica pelea. Yeah. Leo, a partir del quinto round se sintió bastante seguro tu gancho al hígado. Lo trabajaste muy bien y obviamente Frampton acusó de recibo en varias veces. Es un golpe que vas a seguir este, trabajando, Leo, porque obviamente te ayudó mucho en esta pelea. ¿Sentiste que, que te ayudó el gancho al hígado? Sí, claro que sí. Lo, ahí lo trabajamos este, y lo estuvimos agarrando y miramos que cuando estábamos agarrando al, al gancho al hígado, este, aflojó un poquito y se movió. Y hubo unos momentos que pensé que, que sí lo estaba sintiendo y que dije, a la mujer te lo puedo tumbar, pero es un gran peleador, aguanta bien. Y claro que sí lo vamos a seguir usando, pero hay veces que no se puede usar, ya que a veces el peleador se mueve mucho o algo. Este, y si uno lo trae de tirar, se descuida y lo pueden agarrar uno con otro golpe. So, cuando tenga que tirar, cuando pueda, sí lo va a tirar, pero cuando no, no vamos a usarlo mucho. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, he was asking me about the, you know, the body chart. If, you know, that I was working and it was working for me. And I said that, yeah, you know, I saw that I was landing it good. And, uh, maybe I thought that I hurt him a little bit and he started going back, but you know, Carl Farm is a great fighter, a tough man, he took them really well, and if I have to use them, you know, there's some people that you can't hit them, you know, they're really, they're smart and if you throw them, they catch you with another punch, you're open to another punch, but you know, I am going to use it a lot as much as I can, but with the people that I, that I can't do it, I'm not going to use it because it's going to leave me open for another punch. Why didn't you start earlier on? You started to draw yeah. the second half with that. How come you didn't start off earlier? Yeah, because I thought, you know, I didn't want to be, you know, get caught, you know, because, uh, you know, Carl Fram is a great fighter, you know, he's very smart, and he's, I knew that if I went to the body, he was going to try to catch me with the uppercuts, with the hooks, and I didn't want to be open for those punches, so I was, you know, smart, and when I saw him, that he was a little bit more tired, that's when I went for it. All right, thank you very much. Uh, let's give these guys a big hand of applause and let's get them. Give them some rest. Thank you. And uh, I want to have uh, Mikey. If Mikey can come up again, please, because uh, the national media guys think you guys were not able to ask him any questions.